Good morning and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, you don't like it when preachers start to talk about money, but let me take a few moments to talk about money. Do you start off each day by singing, I owe, I owe, so off to work I go. You know, it's no secret that many of us in this culture are drowning in debt. Taking on debt has become a way of life in our culture. It's the newest addiction, but the result, instead of living in the future, we finished up paying for the past. See, scripture tells us that it's not good for believers to live in debt. Proverbs 22 verse 7 says, the borrower is the slave to the lender. In fact, God tells us in Luke that if, if a man or woman is not able to handle the, uh, handle the money that God gives them, then he, he or she will, will be cut off from receiving other blessings instead. See, debt is not just about money. And I don't want you to miss that. Debt, when I'm not talking about money here. Debt is about your spiritual connection to God. That's why I want you to give thought to three words this morning. Give, save and spend. They're three simple words, but if you put them into place, they can change your financial future. Let's look at the first one, give. Proverbs 3, 9 and 10, honour the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your vats will be filled to overflowing. So if you want to prosper in your life, have a generous spirit. Give, not just to the church, give to one another. Give to people you love. Give to people you don't even know. Why don't you pay for the groceries of that little old lady in front of you in the, in the checkout line? Why don't you give more to church so that we can impact our community more? You know, years ago, I had no money and uh, we were... We were we, we were down to our last little bit and I just said, Lord, I'm just going to keep giving. And I believe that I actually gave my way out of debt and you can as well by having a generous spirit. I'm not talking about gift to get. This is not a prosperity doctrine. I'm talking about having a generous spirit. Now, the next thing is save. See, a portion of every dollar that you earn, should, you should save a portion of every dollar that you earn. You know, Egypt was able to survive seven years of famine because Joseph put stuff away. He, he put stuff away for the future. If you look in Genesis 41, life has a way of surprising you with unexpected financial uh, bits and pieces. But if you make saving your money as a, as a practice, then you always have a bit there for times of contingency. And the last one is spend, but spend wisely. See, plan your spending. Draw up, agree upon and stick to a family or a personal budget. You can play hard, but you can also play smart. You know, God tells us in Proverbs 21 verse 5, the plans of the diligent certainly lead to profit, but anyone who is reckless certainly becomes poor. There's nothing wrong with spending money or enjoying the blessings of life that the Lord has given us. But we need to do this with wisdom and with restraint. So let's think of those three words today. Give, save and and spend. Because if you do those correctly, then your financial future is assured as you trust the Lord. God bless you. Go forth and be faithful and honourable in your finances. And we'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.